So previously I did a video on how you could generate an API query on an API call on a Windows based machine in Microsoft Excel. The experience however on a Mac or the Mac version of Excel is actually quite different. So in this video I want to give you a quick demo of how you could generate an API query or an API call in Excel on a Mac. And we are having to use a small shortcut to generate data. But nevertheless, do follow along and I hope you find this interesting. So we're going to start off on the random data generator. This is a website that I've used previously. You'll have seen in previous videos. If you haven't, the link is up right now up on the screen. The URL to this is random-data-api.com. Essentially, it's a API that generates and returns a random set of user data. So here you have an ID or a record, you have a user ID, you have a password, a first name, Christina, a last name, a username, email, so on and so forth. So essentially, this is a random set of, u of user data. It's, it's entirely fictional and developers are using this kind of data to test uh, their applications or their databases or whatever product they have. So it's a great way to generate random data. Now, to call on the API, you need to be familiar with the API documentation. So you click on the documentation page. Here you can see we've got a base URL. We're going to need that. And now you can see some parameters. So you've got a size as a parameter. You've got response. And here you get an example. Most websites will give you an example API so, um, URL and this is what you can use to kind of build up your query, build up your URL for your first query. So what we're going to take here is the, the, the base URL here. You can see users question mark size. So this is a parameter on users and the size is two. So what I'm going to do is copy paste this. But I'm going to set the size to one. That should return one set of user data and it successfully has. So here you can see ID, UID, first name, last name. So this is working. So this is good. So what we want to do now is unfortunately in Microsoft Excel, now that we've got our URL, we want to run Power Query. So the sim similar to the previous video on Windows. If you click on under data here, you get the Power Query uh, extension. But this is where Excel on Mac falls short. You are missing a key option here, and that option is to get web data. So here you've got options here under Power Query for Excel Workbook, Text CSV, XML, JSON, but we are missing an option to generate data from the web. And if we click on Online Services, it only gives a SharePoint. So this isn't quite what we want or isn't quite what we need. Now this issue itself is, and I'm not quite sure whether it's a Microsoft issue or an Apple issue, but either way, this the option of running get web da query data is not available right here. So what we need to do is we need to run a shortcut. So what you're going to need to do here is to open up Microsoft Word and take in that API address that you had before, that URL, we've got including the parameter here. I'm going to paste the URL right here in Microsoft Word. Then what I want you to do is then save this and save as, but not as a Word doc. You want to save it as a text, a plain text. Give your file a name. I'm just going to call it URL and then click Save. I'm going to save this to my desktop. And this is important here. Make sure you select the option MS-DOS. Providing you've done that, you then click OK. And now you've saved this file as a text file. And we can now close it. And now if we go to my desktop, you'll see that I've got the file generated right here. So here you can see I've got my URL file. It's a text file. But we're not quite done yet. What we need to do is get info. Right click and get info. And under the name extension, I want you to change it from a text to IQY. And IQY is an internet query format, which Microsoft Excel recognizes. So now that we've renamed it, we can then close it. Click, this is giving you a, just a, a notification saying that you've, you've asked for a change. You say yes, continue with the change. And now what we can do is go back into Microsoft Excel. And this time what we need to do is use and find the Power Query option. But this is where most users get stuck. 
they fail to realize that there's a second bar here at the top. So this is the, if you like, the Mac bar for Microsoft Excel. And under here, under data, you've got get data power query. And under part the power query menu, you've got run web query. Now the problem is you can't just enter a simple URL. You need to run the query from a file. So this is where our IQY file comes in handy. So we click we select desktop, we select URL, we can now generate a web query and a web API call from this URL file, from this IQY file we created earlier. Click get data. By default, it gives you the results in a table. You select where you want to land the data. I want to land it in cell A1 on an existing sheet. Now we we'll click import. And within a matter of, of seconds or split seconds, we finally generate our first batch of data. So here you can see we've got an ID here of 1378. You can see the first name is Antoine, the last name is Larson, and you've got all these other data parameters. So finally, we've managed to generate an API call in Microsoft Excel on our Mac. Now, where you go from this is entirely up to you. You may want to generate more data. Um, you may want to split this because this is all in one cell you'll realize it's all in one cell. If I go on cell B1, there's nothing there. So you may want to split this data. You go text to columns. And if you look carefully, you'll see that all the data points are separated. So password, first name, last name are separated by a comma. So if you select delimited here, then select next, we can then select comma, and that will split all the data points across multiple columns. Click finish, and finally we have all of our data points split across multiple columns. So from here, guys, you can then structure it, give your columns headings, uh, you can tidy it up, clean it up, and then you can use it for whatever use case you have. So guys, that's a really shortcut way to kind of get around the issue of generating data in Microsoft Excel on a Mac. I hope this example has been useful. And of course, do expect more content and APIs coming really soon. But for any of you Mac users who are struggling to generate API data from an API on a Mac using Excel, then I hope this video is proven useful and I hope this video comes in handy. So guys, take care. Thank you for watching. Do like, comment and subscribe and I will see you on the next one. Take care.